try to get him back. <laughs> okay, we're going to game two. Rogue versus Innovation. Again, Rogue. Oh my god. I won't tell you until the game starts. Wait, already spoiler. Man. This is what oh, I want to see. That's what I was. That's what I didn't tell you guys until it came on camera. I saved it until now. I was wondering. I'm like, did he go for a command center before a supply depot? Because maybe that would be the other thing that could happen, right? Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Oh my god! Innovation. That, that, the Overlord is not doing an anti maru scout. No. Okay, so double proxy barracks. Uh. Now, obviously, Rogue is on the same team as the best proxy barracks player in the world, Maru. The guy who does it, like, the most often. There's, like, people with novelty accounts that only proxy double barracks that don't proxy double barracks as much as Maru does in the GSL. So, I'm just throwing that out there. Like, he, he should have great practice against this. This is crazy. Innovation is, is showing such range here as a Terran Berserk player. Yeah. Mech into double proxy. I know. This is, Jesus. This is just crazy, crazy. Now we want to wait for the moment when Rogue identifies what's coming at him. Well, as soon as they go up the ramp, I guess, the Overlord is kind of... It's sitting in such a place that it'll see anything that comes up. And he's actually going gasless, okay. which should help against this. Wait for the moment. Rogue suddenly oh, realizes... Now he knows. Oh, he knows. Now he knows. He knows. Overlord's like, oh, yeah, here, guys. Okay, the drone's coming down immediately. A good pull. Okay. Very decisive here. That's important. Rogue is playing very decisively. Okay, now remember, these drones are not mining. You want to try to get in between the bunker um, and the SCVs and the Marines. Now, the problem is, is that they're still taking shots. Yep, but now look at this. He sends out the drones that are damaged. Those are going to go mine for a moment. He has eight lings about to pop out. Two queens are on the way. So far, so good. Yeah. Okay. Again, he's going to be able to get both of these bunkers, it looks like. That is such a big deal. Oh, my God. Two drones he's down. He's so good against this. Now, again, the stutter step micro here from Innovation is going to be key. If Zerg overextends, the Zerg bleeds off too much. He can target down that SCV. Now remember, there, there, there's there's not an easy plan B here for Terran if they don't if they don't do enough damage. Their barracks are in the middle of the map. That's not going to help you in the long run. Dude, the SCVs are gone. There's no more SCVs to build bunkers with. Innovation's in a bad place right now. Yeah. Okay, he's ditching it. Rogue is going to be thrilled to be in a position like this. Yeah. And he really didn't suffer that many losses. I think he lost two drones total. Yeah, I believe you're right. Two drones. Uh, you know, a couple lings probably. Obviously, he lost mining time and had to make lings instead of drones. But, like, this is very, very, very good for Rogue. Where does innovation go from this? Okay, he makes yeah. a command center. He's going to react around in his factory. These are kind of things you would expect. But he is stifled, no doubt. Yeah, he's in... This sucks. This sucks for innovation. But I can't blame him for doing that strategy, right? Yeah. I mean, you, you have to be able to mix it up if you're going to take out a player like Rogue. And innovation won with that mech style in game one. Why not try this? And, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. There's no reason not to throw in a double proxy barracks, but I think from now on against Rogue, why? Like, I, I wasn't really paying attention in the first game completely to the exact opening builds, but I think that both these games now, Rogue skipped the early gas which actually does help against uh, these bunker rushes. Speed comes, like, way too late. Uh, if you're trying to do something with gas to stop a bunker rush, it means your hatchery's gone. So, uh, maybe he is just a almost bunker-proof, bunker-rush-proof uh, Zerg player. So, the double command center, we have a starport coming up behind that. The problem when you do a rush like this is innovation and it doesn't work out is there's this big gap where you can't really... You can't pressure the Zerg hardly at all. Like, there's Hellions coming out now. This is not a real threat. No. Two you Hellions. Know, two players. Hellions this laid out. You know, Zerg's already taken a third base. The creep's already pretty adequately spread yeah. everywhere. Yeah, that looks good. It's really not bad for this early after a bunker rush. Roach Warren is on the way right now as well. Ooh. The Roach Warren could be a defensive structure here, thinking that Innovation will do some sort of all-in, but Innovation's actually going for a quick third command center, so he's trying to catch up in a different way. 
He is getting a Raven, though. That can help to push back some of his creep as well. Yeah, Raven also can allow you to be in a much better position later on, you know, in, in, in the game. Um, so with Innovation trying to get back on his feet, I would imagine... I mean, I know it's Innovation, but I would imagine Rogue's incredibly comfortable overall yeah. with how this game's gone. Yeah. I mean, any Zerk player, basically, they hold off the rush. They're, they're feeling good, but... I would imagine if anybody can actually take this point and then bring it to a closer, it should be Rogue. Yes, I would you agree know? with that. And I'm not going to say the stupid thing, like, if anyone could come back from here, it would be innovation, because it wouldn't be. This well, is not the there's, a reason, there's a reason why this is, shines. Yeah, this is, there's a reason why this is a risky build, right? Is because it, it doesn't pan out well if, yeah. if it doesn't work. Um, and so, ideally, two players of even skill, the one that holds the rush should win. Yeah, we would hope so. Otherwise, rushes would be too good. Okay, so Roach is coming across right now against mostly Hellions. There is a Raven out. Yeah, the Hellions can't really directly address the Roaches. Uh, you know, the, with the two bunkers on the way, obviously he's not really going to get that much done. Looks like he turns around, but he forced, you know, he forced a, a little bit here out of innovation. Like, he started a Banshee, he started two bunkers, he might not even finish them, we'll see. You, you can finish him and sell him whatever you want. Uh, some Cyclones on the way. He might have wanted those anyways, but didn't see those last game. It wasn't really a Cyclone type. That's of right. So the fact that we had a double barracks rush into trying to uh, as quickly as, as you can get expansions up now into mech, this, this, the tempo of this game is weird. Mm -hmm. Okay. Innovation is playing a very offbeat Terran game this time around. Yeah. But it's pretty cool. I like it. What was it? Do you know what map three was off the top of your head? Map three. Uh, yeah, it's East Watch. East actually. Watch. Okay. And okay. so that's actually a good innovation match. He, yeah. Map. Uh, he almost took Rogue down there, even though he lost like all his SCVs early. Remember that? He had three yeah. three, and we're sitting there watching like four mutas die to kill a marine. <laughs> yeah. <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but look, there's actually an infestation pit about to finish. I think he's going to go into Swarm House. Uh, well, if he, I mean, I think this is know, like he did super scout for Hive. He so. scouted it, you know, that this is this is Mac, and I think Swarm House is a very good way to address sure. Mac. Especially if you're, you're going to get him this early. You're playing around having to fight Mac head on. Yeah, it, if you're getting them especially early before any attacks will occur, it gives you a lot of time to gain value with them before anyone moves out. So, uh, this is the perfect type of situation to use these in. They should increase his lead here. Just kind of harass innovation a bit. It's going to be very hard for him to keep everything alive. Even things like, you know that depot wall you always see on the left? Yeah, of course. That's a great thing to target down. Sure. Launch him into the main base. Launch him anywhere, man. Um, so we have 13 Swarm hosts coming out here now. And uh, by the way, Rogue's Creep spread really, really scary this game. Like, we're getting to the point where there might be creep over where the Terran will take a fourth base. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> it's true, actually. Yeah, it's going yeah. to be there Yeah, before he takes it. Um, again, a lot of this just goes back to the fact that Terran do that, uh, did that proxy barracks, and it didn't work. Yeah. And Rogue is someone who can oh. absolutely take momentum and really run with it. Yeah. Here nice. we go. Ah. Bye, Siege Shanks. Look at that. Couple Ooh, of that's a lot of damage, Artosis. Yeah. Are those units free? How much money do those units cost when they come out of the Swarm House, Artosis? Uh, they cost 50 man and 50 minerals each time. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's at least one person right now, you know, at their monitor. That's not true. No, they are free. They are free. They are free. Oh, I'm going to get on Twitter right now. Um, no, this, this, is, this is just such a smart way to deal with mech, right? Yeah. I mean, the problem with mech for whoever it's against, whatever race you're playing as, you, it's hard to run in without you eating all the damage first, and then you get your turn to try to fight. So what Rogue does is you get Swarm um, hosts, which have way greater range, and yeah. you just chip away at this. It's the biggest range in the game is the Swarm host. Yeah. And look at this. This is great. And he's actually going to jump up on top of everything now. A couple wow. of really fantastic anti-armor missiles, but it doesn't matter. Innovation is dead. Yeah, Rogue making it look easy. Huh. And um, you can see Rogue's actually just trying to bust in here. He doesn't even want to waste time trying to go for the third base. Yeah. It, it, like, the amount of damage he's done, just the fact that he keeps resetting these unit counts. Look at this. 25 roaches being made, continuing to throw out Locust. Innovation, whether he leaves or not, is dead. There is not a comeback in this game. Wow, even gooping the two factories. Wow. 
those are okay. tank factories too. Yeah. Is that nice seeing two tanks in production next to each other in the production tab? Crazy. Not something you see every day. Okay, uh, and we're waiting for animation to tap out, but we will go to our, our third and final game now. As this is going to be tied up 1-1. One, one. Eastwatch is actually a good map for innovation. He could have won it that last time, even though Rogue played out of his mind, the Baneling landmines and stuff. Uh, but I think especially for innovation, it's a good map. It's just like fits his style well and everything. So I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't know who's going to advance.